All right, my friends. I think that this mower right here was made in the heyday of lawn equipment. 2005, the date is 2005, November 28th. Husqvarna Metal Deck. Briggs and Stratton. Iron sleeve, what do they call that? I think that's an Intech engine on there. Intech Quantum, of course. Uh, I just I tuned this up four years ago, and this is the this is the air filter. It was right there, right? Of course. And uh, this lawnmower, like I said, has not been tuned up for four years. It's owned by an uh, a lady who's older than me, so she's older. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is check the blade. I've already started. It starts with one pull. It took three pulls before I took this off. So I'm just going to... Uh, I've already kind of started this, to confess. So we're going to lift this up. This lawnmower weighs three times of any other lawnmower I've worked on in a very, very long time. So there we go. Up there, we'll move over. And I'm going to just take take this guard off here. I already did the, took the bolts out. I thought, I'd better film this. I was worried about this being packed with grass, but it's not that bad. Let's get some air in there, eh? Turn on the air. Oh, not yet. Excuse me. Say excuse me to a camera, right? Now, while I got that open, it's not that dirty underneath. The belt looks doable. Okay, I'm just going to put this cover back on if I can. Well, that wasn't bad. Now, I took two bolts off right here. One down here. And one up top. <clears throat> and I might as well get that blade off of there right now and sharpen it up. Huh? Looks like a 916, so it's such a huge engine, right? <clears throat> Let's have a look at the blade. Yeah, it could use a sharpen, right? And a buff. pretty good down here. So uh, I'm going to just set my uh, grinder, my bench grinder up outside. Okay, well I'll shoot from the other side. A little better light. Okay, here's how I do this. Get the ratchet. Again, you 
between 40 and 55 foot pounds. This is a big boy. Oh, that's great. Alright, good. So now, we're done under here. We've got the... Oh, I guess I could take my earplugs off and then I wouldn't have to yell at you. Hello there. Who's here? Alright. So now, we are done under here. Blade's facing the right way. I'm just going to, before I plug the spark plug back in, I'm just going to make sure we're not bent to crank or anything. Oh, we're good. It's a beautiful, beautiful old mower. Okay, so the next thing, gosh, it's going to be quick. I'm going to wipe off the air filter area. Just to get the schmoo off it. But it's well maintained, right? That makes all the difference. The belt looks good. And on self oh, let's do the spark plug. It'll probably be an RJ19 LM, right? Are you guys with me over here? Or are we looking down or up or what? I'll be right back. Let's get that spark plug out of there. Huh. It just doesn't get any better. This gal's name is Dorothy. She lives alone. But she looks after her house and her stuff. Okay, you guys. Just want you to look at this. This she mows once a week in the summertime. Look at that spark plug, right? It's very, very acceptable. So I'm going to clean it up, and I'll be right back. I do it on the on the bench grinder. Right over here, you guys can even watch. I don't usually show this, eh? Very simple procedure. This is a, a metal wheel, like a, a wire wheel. And then we come over here. Don't get dizzy. Scratch your inner outer. I just get a, a pick of any kind, a thin, thin pick. I just get right in there. A little carb cleaner. A little bit of air. I don't care what anybody says. There's nothing wrong with that spark plug. Oh. I don't mind reusing an old RJ19 LM. They always shine up nice, don't they? So back to the drawing board. Where are we? Stella hates this. There you go. Spark plug back in. Let me just check the gap. I can usually tell. Yeah, it's well, I better measure it. What the heck, eh? If it's out, it'd be me from last time, right? Oh, it did look a tad close, eh? I'll 
be too much. Yep. Okay. There's a 30,000 feet of gauge. Done! Okay, so we've got a sharp blade. We got a, a spark plug that's just been cleaned. <clears throat> I think it's almost out of fuel, so we'll give her a half a tank of that. The primer works. So now the only other problem I've got is to clean this up a little bit. Now, my stool. <clears throat> no, not the one with wheels. That's coming in quite handy. My buddy Brent gave me that. Okay, communicate with me. There we go. <coughs> Five sixteenths. So now I'm just going to wipe it down and change the oil. And I'm going to change the oil from up here. So I'm going to start it up just a little bit and let it run for a couple of minutes, not even, and we'll get that oil out of there. <laughs> i got to show you something, hey? There, that's my clamp. It should start, although the spark plug has been out. So I'll just give it a couple of shots and we'll just warm it up and you can change the oil. Now on this one, I'm not sure if the uh, fatter oil sucker upper tube will fit down into the crankcase. I've got two liters of oil in my collector. Yep, it will. That's nice. And I just raise the front here. Hmm, how am I going to do that? I know. Alright, now I'm going to try the other one. 
without making a mess, guys. Uh, almost. <laughs> uh, really? Not bad, not bad. Come on, you guys. Okay, let's try the smaller one. Let's see if it gets more. Upside down tires and things, and it's it's not right. Okay, so now it should be a full oil fill thing. I don't know if I can check it this early. So now we got some gas, we've got clean air filter. Now I'm just going to clean it up. You guys don't need to watch that. We'll do a before and after. All right, before I do a wipe down, I'm going to take this cover off and just, oh yeah, that's good I'm doing that. Absolutely amaze me. I might just look under the tires too, eh? I don't want to. <laughs> ah! I'm sure many of you know what I'm saying. I'm going to check the gears on the tires. 9 16ths. B 
big beautiful mower, huh? Oh man, look at that. Put a dab of oil on this. <clears throat> Not much. You don't want to goop things up, right? No, like just an eighth of an inch spot on there. That's because she's done maintenance. Big difference between and repairs, eh? This side looks just as good. Just a dab of oil, no more. This side's a bit dirtier, actually. Same thing, though. Yahoo! So I normally charge a certain amount for tune-ups and it's different for everybody, but I am going to add $20 on here because it was a 22 kilometer drive over to get it and it'll be another 22 kilometers to take it back. So that's 44 kilometers, which is very close to 30 miles, 26, 26 miles. And with a truck like that, uh, you're going to burn probably two gallons of fuel and the time and where. So it'll be a $20 bill extra on that. Uh.